Hello, hi, how are you today? So I wanna to talk to you about the two of you merging your lives together. We have spent lifetimes and sometimes eons of time with karmics and we sometimes know that we're supposed to be together with our twin flame, but we don't always know what are the steps our soul and our higher self want us to take to actually merge our life together. Now, this is frequently when you will feel like you're playing red light, green light, like you get the green light to go forward on some stuff and you get the red light to not go forward on other things. And it can feel like doors are closing to you. How do we open the doors? How do we know which are the right doors to walk through or accept? What are the new things? So in a uh, theory, well, I shouldn't say in theory, in actuality, because it's more than a theory, there's about four times per year. Now, coincidentally, we also have a Mercury retrograde four times a year, and this gives you a time for review. And I shouldn't be laughing because sometimes it's it's not so funny, but my son has taken a saying, oh, Mercury's in Gatorade again, isn't it, Mom? And I'm like, oh, it's kind of funny, but it's not funny sometimes, right? It's not funny. However, the two of you are merging your life together. That's a beautiful word, together, right? You should always be helping each other, even beyond death, to do this, to merge and calibrate and reset and replug into the things you want and need. So if we look at this, your twin flame body actually creates the balance you need to do this because the majority of people are in a separation. You're doing this solo. You're sometimes flying by the seat of the pants. You are sometimes wondering, when is this gonna shift or change? You have to be a part of the change because major shifts have already happened in order for it to be conducive for you to effectively do this, okay, to do it at the human level where sometimes you only have so much control. You have the human limitations of your body. You do have your twin flying body and that's where the perfection lies. And sometimes it's just not perfect, not yet, while you're merging things. Also, there are two of you having created your individual lives with or even without a karmic person. Why? Because some people have made active choices that they're just not going to be with someone or they've already divorced a karmic partner or they, you know, they're kind of dabbling and maybe dating around and thinking, you know, I, I don't really want to get too deep with someone. It happens, right? So there are two of you. How do you know this? You affect each other from the inside out because you're living in your twin, your twin's living in you. Your twin doesn't want to be with the wrong people or the wrong situations because the higher aspect of your twin flame is watching out, guiding you, guiding each other and coordinating this. And sometimes it can feel like you've got the blindfold on and you're just kind of feeling your way as you go. Yes, you have to feel. Yes, you have to feel guidance. Yes, you have to get guidance. Yes, you have to receive more than spiritual guidance. This goes very deep, okay? Also, things that people frequently complain about out there in Twin Flame Landia. How do you get your Twin Flame to do this? So learning how you are helping your own Twin Flame to do this, it is through the body, and there's something that I do teach in my classes where um, I'm, you know, because you are embodying each other and people remember this and they forget. They remember for the good stuff and then they forget when it comes time to close doors, make changes, level up, shift things in a different direction, get their twin flame to shift. So let me give you an example. If your twin flame is in a karmic situation, you can feel it, you can sense arguments, you can dream it, you can uh, feel like other people are standing in and you can like look like this, like go, I feel like I'm seeing something from my twin flame side of stuff, but I'm standing right here and like this is me, 
They're not here, but I feel like I'm seeing a mirror. Yes, there's a lot of mirroring that the universe will do to show you what's happening. And it'll feel like that. The key word being feel. My work helps you ramp up your gifts and your senses so that you get clarity, you get accuracy. And sometimes it happens so swiftly. It's like it's fast as uh, it's faster than the speed of light. It's the speed of love. You can second guess yourself and be like, did I just imagine that? And then you're like, no, that really happened. That really happened. It's happening right in front of me. But I feel, and then what does it feel like? And I will even ask you in my classes, what does it feel like? Like really dig this out of yourself. You got to be able to use your twin flame body. Take that baby step forward. Take one step forward to try it. Okay. I know that this can be very confusing, but the clarity can come. It comes in a flash sometimes. And I love it when people get this because it's like beyond an aha moment because it's not just a mental light bulb going off, going like, huh, I think I'm sensing a solution. No, it is like lightning speed. I, I mean, it is so fast. I literally had people say, am I second guessing myself? Like this just came so easily and quickly. Yes, as it should, because you are a lover and you're here to bring in that 5D response system, clarity, and all the good stuff. You're here to bring good stuff first and foremost for you. It's like putting on that oxygen mask. If you're not happy, if you're not being covered, if you're not getting the oxygen, the love that you need, ain't nobody going to be, right? Okay. Helping your own twin flame to do this through the body. And it first has to happen through your body because you are sometimes the one taking one step forward. <laughs> one step. Just please, one step, just join, join, follow the instructions, ask me questions, write me your concerns, your questions, like, please get involved, get involved because we got to start flipping this around. The clock is a ticking. We're already going into October, right? So this will have to do, especially around this time of year, because equinoxes are like, oh my God, like those changes, those hidden changes that you kind of thought like, really, that's going to change or that door is closing or, oh my God, like, what if it's really good stuff? Like, well, they kind of phased out my position, but I got a promotion because they expanded this other department and decided somehow I was the right fit for it. How'd that happen? Do you know if your own twin flame is doing the work? Do you know if your higher self and your soul is helping position you properly so that you are balanced? You are balanced, masculine and feminine energy balanced, using the right amount of love, honoring you, protecting you, guiding you every single step of the way, and delighting you. This is the thing we forget. Like sometimes, and I admit, some people are in so much pain. Physical pain, emotional pain. We lose people. We lose people we care about. They're waiting for us. They're sometimes coming in for their next life, but we still miss them, right? But we can sense them. We can, you know, our higher self wants to delight us and retrieve our good energy and not leave us in in those you know deeper things really lighten us up be enlightened lightened up leveled up okay so what happens though closure natural endings these could be breakups these could be layoffs what do you have that helps you reinvent come on I can hear you now. It's your twin flame body. It's always going to help you reinvent because through your twin flame body, that is going to bring your skill set, your gifts, your talents, your experience at those talents, your wisdom. Like you really need to get ramped up here simply by opening the next connections for you and expanding your light body. This is what I'm teaching in my webinar coming up. 
There is timing to such things. Is it time for you? For example, you want to buy a house, right? Okay, like I had this thought. I'm like, you know, I'm seeing some people around me and they're like, they're buying a second home. And I'm like, ah. <laughs> but the signal I got was wait, not try and wait, but wait. Wait. It's like when you try to do the crosswalk and you keep, <laughs> my son kept doing that, pushing, wait, wait. Wait, wait, okay, we're waiting. But what does that mean? It could mean that your twin is about to inherit a second home in a location that you'll really love. You're each, you're not just coming with baggage. In fact, you're throwing off the baggage. You are merging your life together. And it includes all the things you like to do. If that's travel, if that's eating, if that's fairs, if that's festivals, if that's a second home, if it's ditching this home, if it's like recreating your grid elsewhere because you'll like the lifestyle better there. It also means healing each other. It means supporting each other from the inside out as you have done through every incarnation beyond death. Death is not the end for us. And I don't want to dwell on that, but I just want to say, guess who's there to retrieve you? It's each other because that's what love does. Love is relentless. It will always come for you, even when you least expect it. So timing is a thing. If you get a red light and you're kind of told to stop, okay, you should still do your basics, okay? Pay attention to your essentials because in my class, I'm going to give you a daily routine that you can do so that you feel balanced and supported. You don't feel like you've been told no and then go wow, wow, wow. Everyone, everyone else in the class gets bubble gum and I don't. No, you're not going to feel like that. You're going to feel like there's good things coming and there's just simply a timing to things. Okay, you're not just biding your time and, you know, knitting socks until your love comes home from the war. You're each doing stuff and timing is a part of that. Coordinating the timing of things is a huge thing. 5D intervention. Now, what do we sometimes ask for? I'll never forget these lines that were always a part of our Sundays upon whose constant intercession we rely for help, right? Right? Now, I was raised Catholic and, you know, we, some of us know these things by rote, but they had no meaning. They had no real oomph to them. They were just words, except when you're a twin flame and you begin to feel like this might be what they were talking about. Real 5D intervention where someone pushes the plug, you know, pushes the button, push the pause button, pull the plug, open the door roll out the red carpet, like whatever it feels like for you, where those opportunities just come up for you. You need to create these opportunities and we're going to go over this because from that small little inception or idea or thing that you see that you go, ooh, okay, that's where it starts. That ooh is an ooh from your heart. Like, ooh, ooh, I want that car. Ooh, that's a thing that... Oh my God, like I, I want to merge that into my life, right? Of course you do. So sometimes it does take some multidimensional intervention. I pride myself on being, you know, sort of a conduit of that so that you can feel that. And so that you're getting your messages clearly, distinctly through your twin flame body. Yes, I am an emissary of the light, but I want you to be your own light and to feel this. I'm teaching it, but like I'm teaching you how to fish. How do you like get this going for yourself? Because you will have to do it not only again. Now, when you're together, it gets easier. Okay. When you get together, as you merge, you will merge and begin to up level. And that's a level that you create in. The seventh dimension is the sacred love making level. So this is why numbers that you see like 717 or sevens, 
these can be very significant because you might be up there doing some of this, okay? But don't fret if you don't see numbers. If you don't see numbers and numbers aren't a thing between you two, don't worry about it, okay? It's just why you see other people going like, oh, I saw this number, right? And again, they're ooing, but what do they really want to ooh and ah over, okay? It's usually something for their life, something they'd enjoy, something that makes it pleasant or more than pleasant, enjoyable, passionate, right? So what does this take? Okay, it takes your grid, setting up your grid, your near grid, the grid in your home, which I call your, sometimes you could call it your sanctuary. For some people, it's an altar. A lot of people may already have this. It doesn't have to be fancy. It really doesn't. And a little far. Why? The far one is for your dimensional support. I have one that's actually in another country, and I've been to that country several times because it's been a part of my past life. It's been a part of what I did in bringing my gifts and skills back in to do this, do this work, okay? The rings of influence for what you need, okay? This is like you could call it like the vibe you're putting out there, okay? This is part of the law of, like the law of attraction for twin flames, which works a little bit differently because you are merging your lives together. You have um, this ripple effect. You're rippling out and that sends a signal and it sends a response to help. Here's what you need. Here's what we are giving you, gifting you, providing, opening the door for, setting up an opportunity, right? So you have rings of influence for what you need. What is what you need, okay? These are going to be survival needs, of course. And they're going to be things that maybe are not just survival needs, but they are like for having a really nice life. And yeah, these are like stepping stones. So like if you break up with someone, you might feel like you're starting over. You still have needs, Okay, maybe you can't rely on that person for your needs anymore, but you can rely on your soul for it. And this is why I'm teaching this, because with the amount of things that we have to let go of, connections, cords, um, a mental, emotional connections, illness, chronic illness, childhood stuff, family stuff, ancestral stuff. I mean, it could seem like the list goes on and you're just continually like dusting off and being like, oh my God, I need some doors of opportunity to open, right? Okay, let's start getting you set up. So we are meeting for my Equinox Surrender and Energies webinar, September 22nd, 29th, August 6th, okay? Those are Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Look at this handy little... Super H, who knows Super H Mart, right? I love this store. It's a Korean grocery store. Three Sundays in a row. If you cannot make it, I will send you the recordings. Please look at the links below. And I love what they do. Last year, they had uh, Korean recipes, food recipes. Mmm, delicious. This year, they had children. They had a contest for kids to create some artwork. And I'm telling you, it's amazing. So um, I love when companies do that kind of stuff where they too are opening a door, creating an opportunity for artists and cooks and whatever else, right? We are here to do this. We are here to bring in 5D love. You are a living, loving vessel of this. And yes, you have to level up. Yes, you have to be that living bridge. You will be together. It's either going to be sooner or later. Why wait till later? Get started now. Reach out. Let me know what your questions are, your concerns. Have a session. We do sessions. But I find a lot of people, when we do these three parts, they feel so different by the third one. In three weeks, you could feel vastly different. Much more supported, much more balanced, much more of a handle on things with tools that you've learned. And yeah, sometimes we we do it, uh, I would say, on the like no holds barred side where I'm like, okay, you're in a scenario and you need to connect to your twin through the etheric body, go. 
and I walk you through it because you got to be able to do that. If your car breaks down by the side of the road, if you're at the office and you come out of a meeting and you're like, my God, I really could use some equilibrium. When you're in a situation and you need emotional regulation right now because it's inappropriate and like you're like, I don't want to get in trouble or really have a problem. If you feel like those like weird thoughts creeping in, it's like closure takes place, like nothing's happening and I might as well just get out of here or I might as well just go backwards. No, please don't. Join us. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Reach out, check out my new website, twinflamerinconnection.com. Bye.